beloved in Christ, I heartily welcome you to this glorious day the Lord has made for you and I. You are indeed welcome to this glorious day and to the platform God has designed and map out for your greatness and all your endeavors. You are the children of light. There is no darkness that is made in you because you are of God and those of God is of light. Darkness cannot comprehend you as far as you walk with the light. And which light are we talking about? The Lord, the God, our Maker, our Mediator, where we renew our strength. Welcome to the platform journey with God because without Him, you have nothing X to account for. With our journey with Him, your turn on your net is in waste. You're wasting your waste, you're wasting your life here net. But when you walk with him, great and assured of you, salvation awaits you. Attainment of all dreams that is superior above all awaits you. So what are we killing ourselves for? Stand your ground in him and see an end what it brought as brought for you. Yes, beloved, you are indeed at the right place. We only give the word. What is expected of you is to implement it study. Diversity, one way or the other, look it in the picture. Compare, contrast in your life. What is this trying to portray? Or what is this telling me that is the word for us? Without knowing how, where, and what about the world, you are in vain. You are hearing in vain, so know what? and how and where to implement it in your life. Beloved, bravo, because you are the right place. Welcome once more. All right, may God continue to bless us in all ramification of our lives. Okay, beloved, our tie topic to this is great time for your family. Did you do that for yours? Okay. And quote of today said, victim, a victims, victims of a broken home live without with damage physique, do you get that? Victims of a broken home live with damage physique. Well, just true, do you understand that? Okay, you will get to understand that. With time, I appreciate what our topic really have for us today, okay? And now our memory verse for today to back our topic is, it's taken from Matthew 13, 25 verse 26, which reads, where everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sold wheat among the wheat. Wheat among the wheat. And where they were, when the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the wheat also appeared. Did you understand that significance? Okay, beloved, listen to our word for today. Family is an important institution established by God from which individuals derive protection. Fulfillment, care, relationship, support, and many others. It is so vital that home determines what a society looks like. Did you get that? There are the strongest influence of the family influence. Anyone who does with his or her family, or who by whatever reason makes his family aligned to his sources, has signed up for a very miserable, miserable existence. Spending a substantial chunk of your time or on people or relationships that are not in any way related to your life pursuit will cause you energy and fetch you emotional deficit. Beloved, your wife and children are an integral part of your success story. When everyone ex lives, for whatever reason, as they sometimes do, they will be the ones left. If your wife and children are lying to your success, you are signing on for miserable existence. You will remember that the prodigal son was left alone suffering. It was his immediate family that he had left behind for a very long time that eventually accepted him and restored his lost status and emotional balance. Never pursue success at the expense of your family life, especially your nuclear family. Plan for them. Plan for time to build with your spouse and children. They must be seen and treated as stark holders in your pursuit of source purpose. When the outside world rejects you, they are the ones you will go back to. God will give you grace to amend, to make amends where you have missed it, beloved. This is directly talking to you and I. 
and do very well to study Matthew 13 verse 24 to 30. All right, I want to throw more light on this. I read to us, okay? It means when our topic to this is create time for your family. Did are you the type who do, does that? Did you create time for your home because they are more they are what mother a treasure? Yes, whatever you're doing in life and you don't have it creates intimacy with your loved ones, your so called family. That means whatever you're doing is in vain. Yes, when you put trust on out people out there than your family. You love it. Believe you in me. You when you lose all balance, nobody will grab you. Nobody will come to your aid. But that is our family's chance. And we go back. We go therefore by using the prodigal son. Okay, after he has done his father all whatsoever he did, sin against his father. But what really happened? The father let her accept. No matter how you do or no matter what you do to your family, when you lose all balance, you still pass back at them, isn't it? So that is what is pre that is why it's preferable and it's paramount in our life to move along with what we really put first because family is the key to success. Remember our memory verse is taken from Matthew twenty five to twenty six. But twenty five said, When you were sleeping the enemy came to sorrow weed among with do you know what that signifies? Do you know what that signifies? Do you know what that portrays? We need to be mindful of our loved ones. If you're a married man, if you're a single guy, be mindful of the people you keep around you. Be mindful of your family. Always back your faith. That is why the glory of God will never cease in our midst because whatever you're doing in life, that is why this manual, which is Bible, is great in our lives and is good in our sight we need steady focusing and studying if you have a lovely family a family who stays together prays together a family who came together and your all pains who oneness love attribute the lord and that is why in the commandment god said love is the most important thing if you have if you don't have love forget other commandments they are not important what am i saying beloved create time are you those busy type who doesn't have time for loved ones how do you want them to go when you and i see our quote said victims of a broken home live with damaged physique do you know that what that mean when you don't have time when you don't seek time opportunity to stay with your kids your family how would they know you how would they live how will you trust how will you study them how will you know everything about them you see, understand what I'm telling you? And it ends up being an embarrassment on bringing shame to your reputation. Okay, so when the Bible said, when two or three are gathered in my name, he is in our midst. What does that supposed to mean? When you pray along, when you dialogue along, try to monitor the step of your children. Your wife, love, conquer it all things. Don't be so carried away by the things of the world. We are giving a family. We are giving a wife, we are giving a children for a reason. How did you blow them up? How did you make them achieve a youthful and a good life? What is your what is your impactment in them and your attributes in all year? Are you the single lady? How are you working your own race in order to maintain a good status, a good family, a good life? If you're still single, you're not even married, your family, your home where you emanated from. Are your number one goal so how did you plan how did you work towards it how did you try to make peace how did you come to, to join heads together even if it's not working keep praying and god will make it work because some families are scattered some don't believe each other some you know that is how it happens when the bible jesus said that a man is not recognized as his own clan or his own town is really ongoing today you see a man of God, a woman of God coming out from a family, but it's just that some will not believe who she tends to be. They tend believing outside people than their own. That is how it's be. I'm speaking from I'm speaking from experience, but believe in me, beloved. It takes grace, prayer, supplication. Keep praying with them. 
your line, their line will be adjoining. God will send one or two people on their way that will always shape and put them in the right status. Beloved, what am I telling you and I? Guy, brother, sister, single, married or not, all these are laying emphasis on earth, okay? Don't do 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 the needful. Don't while away time while your home is in total mess. Don't don't do I don't care, I don't care and things are spoiling. That is when you said when people are wives are asleep, the devil go and sow weed. Wheat in a weed. And when it grew up, those things follow. It takes time. Prayer. That is why you see many of us today call did not create us to be a barrier or to be built to full of darkness. That is why he said in the, in the beginning. In, be, in the beginning he said, Let there be light. He differentiated light from darkness. He didn't dispel darkness. He differentiates. So when you tend to live thing, when you tend to, we are in the world. We are born of God. And that doesn't mean that the devil will not try his best in order to take away our faith. But what is expected of you is to stand ground. Haven't identified, haven't known who you are. Pray, cast, bind, and do the needful. You will be strong. But we don't need to be a victim. At times, many of us are victims. We are victims of all this. We are not different. We are not exceptional. But we keep praying, we keep seeking for God because we are created in this This is not how we are not created to suffer, we are not created to struggle. We are created for God's purpose. So, when all those things, all those things are the issue of life, that is why he said, Be of good cheers, have overcome. He said, In the world, you face tribulation, but in Him, you'll find peace. That P of good cheers, He has overcome the world for He is. That is when you don't allow, there's a certain things that need to happen. And you've learned less, you've not allowed that to happen to your home. So in order to prevent it, they said prevention is better than kill. So prevent your own. Now you have come to light. There is a reason for everything in your lives. You haven't come to the knowledge of God. You single lady, there is something God wants to use the word, his light to do in the life where you find yourself. Probably tomorrow you'll get married. You are a reason. There is something God wants to use you to do in that family. Those who are married and ignorantly don't know God as a them, trying to build your faith, God is the God. Building and coming out from your darkness is a word. Is what enough taking you. See, everything happened for a reason. This topic, if I elaborate more, huh, beloved, we will not live here. But take the point. Forget about the way I speak or the way, but take pick point. Pick point from it and make it a living stone, a living light in you and try to work with it. Beloved, when you have a broken home, you will not be happy. I used to bring shame to your, to your reputation. So what am I trying to say? Love leads. Try to build your home with the world of God. Pray. Teach your children what they need to know when they say good character corrupts. Bad character corrupts good manner. But when you build them with the word, they will tend to take that of you, irrespective of the word we have today. But there is nothing God cannot do in their life. So when you fold your arms, I'm not doing what you need to do as a parent, as a single lady, try to draw, or as a single guy, try to draw brothers or sisters, children, those who are falling astray, try to call them. Be of the faith of correction. Be of the faith of bringing children to the way of God. As you're doing this, is not per se home alone, but those children out there who parents are not doing what they're ought to do, but God has laid it in your heart and your mind to walk. Try. That is why we come together. That is why we fellowship together. That is why this platform is today, beloved. This world is telling you today. Create time for your home. Don't do, I don't care. There's some things we need not to do. I don't care for. I don't care is not in our nature. When you start doing I don't care, you will live in a home full of locks. And that locks, before it will leave you, mm. it takes years. It's not as if God will not redeem, but you pray tired. Beloved, God show mercy for those who wants to be merciful. So let's not allow something to happen to us. Haven't known 
the source of all this let's try to retrace and let's try to do what correct and not allow it to be fell of not beloved that is all i have for us today after a big remain create time for your family and you could say victim of a broken home live with damaged physique go and ponder through this world come out with something available implement it in your life and work in it do the needful and we should stop going around like a cloud let's work with light and the light is our shared beloved bravo shalom i still remain angel for you don't forget our assignment for today is matthew chapter 13 24 to 30 this passage that will take from 25 to 26 i want us to read from 24 to 30 okay that is our assignment today ponder study and know what the lord is talking about you and remember you will not regret every bit of the word of god that is coming your way don't forget to always tune in to listen for what god has for you respective of the person i'm not speaking of myself you know but by the grace of god so always stay tuned I still remain the daughter of Zion. Angel for real. God bless you. Good. Bye for now. Don't forget. I love you all. Mm-hmm.